back and we're still here at the Ethereal Summit in Tel Aviv where things are continuing to go off. And I'm joined now by Mark Balin, co-founder of Bounties Network. Mark, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. Absolute pleasure. Now the question I've been asking everyone here today, uh, how does it feel to be here at the Ethereal Summit in Tel Aviv? Well, what do you feel about it? I think, you know, having been to a couple of Ethereal summits in the past in New York City, you know, the energy here is a little bit higher. Uh, people are, you know, not really afraid to talk to each other, which nice. is great. Uh, and I hear that's a part of the culture here. So, yeah, it's, it's great. You know, the, 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 the crowd here is, um, you know, at a very high caliber. It seems we've attracted a lot of people. So, you know, it's very exciting. Yeah, it's a great space for it. But all right, let's get stuck in. Mark, uh, tell us a little bit about Bounties Network and what you guys do. Sure. So, uh, we're a platform that, you know, lets companies incentivize people to perform different types of tasks. Uh, and so, of course, we, you know, we have a a lot of tasks that are just outsourcing work, things like code, design, translations. Uh, but we're seeing a lot of really interesting work in the community building space. Companies starting to realize that you know outsourcing work is actually a way to bring people in, make mm -hmm. them feel uh, connected to the company and actually uh, part of the organization, even if it's on a more ephemeral level, uh, which is really exciting. Um, and then we're also starting to experiment a little bit with incentivized social impact. Um, so starting to think about instead of you know volunteer-based models, how can we incentivize people to perform the types of tasks like cleaning up the oceans or planting trees? And so. Uh, that's also been pretty exciting for us with our experiments that we've run so far. Yeah, it sounds like a spectrum of potential there. But i got to ask, so there are existing platforms out there that seem to do similar work to what you guys are offering. Obvious big name that comes to mind, Fiverr. How do you differentiate and differentiate, differentiate yourselves rather from them? And uh, what do you see as the differences in your model? Yeah, so, I mean, it's great for us that Fiverr's been around for a little while. Now people kind of understand the model and are pretty used to kind of outsourcing work, which is great. Um, I think there's a number of challenges, you know, that Fiverr faces in particular around the payments, of course. Um, and so for us, you know, being powered by Ethereum, it's pretty efficient for us, uh, to, you know, when you have global payments to freelancers right. around the world. Um, and in particular for, you know, companies and organizations and communities that have their own tokens, um, this kind of takes it a step further when instead of having to pay people in U.S. dollars, you can start to pay them in your native token. Um, and sometimes that token's equity, sometimes that's a utility token, and sometimes it's neither. But uh, regardless, you kind of, it, it connects you in a much deeper level uh, to the company rather than, you know, just getting paid and, and kind of walking away. And are you finding that freelancers uh, as a whole are sort of amenable to the idea of being paid in uh, like Ethereum based tokens? Is that something that people are onto or is it mostly people from inside the sphere using this service? You're bringing new people in is what I'm asking. I think it's a mix of both. I think some of the experience I've had, um, you know, with Upwork even before, you know, launching the Bounties Network was, uh, you know, trying to outsource work and, and the freelancer actually asked me, hey, can you pay me in Bitcoin because mm -hmm. I'm in the Ukraine and you know this is much more efficient right. um, and so I could tell there was kind of an appetite there and people were interested um, and so you know as people you know freelancers are always looking for work they're kind of looking for all those opportunities wherever they exist and so uh, many of them are fairly amenable to cryptocurrencies because you know they get the money in their wallets immediately they don't really have to worry about the escrow fees and things like that so uh, yeah they're, they're pretty happy yeah mm. oh fantastic it sounds like you guys are doing some fantastic work over there interesting to see how the sphere is developing and these ecosystem projects really helping to build it Mark Balin I want to thank you so much for joining us at Block TV and stay with us for continued coverage of the Ethereal Summit and all the latest in news and information. I'm Asher Westrop Evans. Thanks for watching. For more news and updates, follow us on Twitter.